What's up guys, Zeus here back with another video of Quick Reminder if you are watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of me and my content. And um I'm recording this at like six in the morning. So like you know, gotta gotta keep it low a little bit, you know. But you know, family is already awake and whatnot getting ready for the day. I'm just recording something before class. By the time this is uploaded, um it should be done. Like it, it should be like it should be like 3 p.m. 3 4 p.m. is when this should be going live and whatnot. Yeah. So as you can tell by the title, guys, uh, we're gonna be looking at some more Jap Japanese competitive gameplay because comp is dead, and this is the only thing I have right now for competitive gameplay. So we're gonna look and analyze the Japanese Winter Tournament for 2023, quote unquote, DK, even though it's you know 2024. The fucking demonio of this goddamn year right now is the drought of competitive gameplay that I so desperately need. But, um, with all that bullshittery aside, let's hop right into the first set of matches. Alright, and hopping into the first... Hopping into the first match, it's a fucking hermit, bro. A hermit... You know what? I can't be that loud. I can't be. It's a motherfucking hermit. Ooh, yeah, hermit. Wow, so cool. Yeah. Fucking hate hermit. But uh, we're going to be seeing Priestess, Lawyer, and Bomber, and Mercenary on Moonlit River Park. Oh, buddy. I can't wait to see awesome hermit gameplay. Totally engaging. Hermit, for me, is on the equivalent of Bonbon bon with how entertaining and how engaging his gameplay is. Because his gameplay is... And then I stun, and then I stun again, and then I stun, and then I stun again, and again, and again, and again. Good job from the mercenary here watching the watching the hermit's movements. This is exactly what you want to do with survivors. When you are getting caught in mind games like that, where the hunter is moving back and forth, and you got to see where you're going, it is sometimes best to just stand in a place where the hunter cannot see you, but you cannot see the hunter. That way, the hunter only can guess where you're going to go. Merc burning all of his damn pads, making sure that he does not give the hermit the chance to give him a charge until the uh, survivors can swap, which is good. Because if the hermit is chasing, as he is right now, where he's only going M1 and he's just trying to solo stun you, so that way then he doesn't share polarity and he gets you down quicker, you kind of get cucked via, you know, people not being able to swap. Now people can swap, like, oh, uh, you almost just threw the entire match, Merc, I can't lie. You you actually almost threw the whole match. That's crazy. That that actually could have been a, like, worst case scenario. That's so bad. Jesus Christ. Merc got to get healed. And Bomber actually swapping polarity right there. He can just push coaster now. Yeah, the Hermit can't do anything about it. Just gotta accept the fact that coaster is a thing. There's ciphers. All ciphers are started, as you would expect from a hermit match. Leaving actually going towards the embalmer right now. And orb. And he got stunned by that. Wow. He got stunned. Yeah. You see, this is uh, why we fucking hate hermit. Because, like, he did all that extra bullshit just to get rewarded because the fucking embalmer put, like, his left pinky toe on the damn thing. Like, this is why. Hate this hunter. So tedious. So annoying. I will forever hate Hermit till I die. These bones were made for hating Hermit. Can't lie. Where is his coffin at, actually? Where did he place this shit? Oh, it's at first stop. Okay. Well, too bad. It's, uh, coaster's gone, so... Ooh, yeah, buckaroo. At least he lives one more hit. Oh, my My boy. Push two-story. Push two story. He can't do anything. You have coffin. Why? Why isn't the embalmer pushing two? Sto oh, he fucked up his damn spirit bomb. Spirit bomb. I mean gun. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> yeah, he messed up. So, so the embalmer is routing right. Like it's working out, but I would not have recommended that. I would have honestly just said, so take your chances. Go into two story, and that's it. Because it's like, at least in two-story, oh no, if Basement's there, he's an embalmer. But what is, what is Basement gonna do for him? Jack shit. He just embalms himself and they don't, and they keep decoding and that's it. Except now he's at first stop. And now that he has to waste his orbs going over. Jesus Christ, this motherfucker really has four stuns. Four back-to-back, back-back-back-back -to -back 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 stuns. Now using Coffin, he's gonna actually just teleport straight over towards the fucking Priestess right now. 
Mm. Oh, barely misses it. Priestess does a portal, like, and he stuns, and he hit. Wow, oh, and he stuns again. Wow, guys, so he messed it up. Wow, we're gonna see another stun. Oh, mind game, good. Meta is not being meta though, because since this is round one, you know, we would have saw an opera singer, but you know, meta is not being very meta. You see, good job of the priestess. Huh. This is exactly what I was talking about. You want to be like this priestess, where you can just like you wait for the hundred body, just break the fucking portal, just break it, swing, just break it. Like, <laughs> she got another one though, which is funny. Oh, that doesn't even matter though. She gets out of that stun. Funny enough, that's funny. Oh, uh, they arrested him, but wow, they were they're destroying him, dude. You know, this is a hermit match, and they're four minutes in, and they almost have the ciphers done. Can you believe that? The, the cipher's gonna pop. This ticket just popped right there. <laughs> That's really fucking funny. Okay. He connect the cipher machine again. Woo, guys, he connected the cipher machine. Crazy. Whoa. Alva Gaming, he threw a stun yet again. Whoa, and he stunned again. Like, do we, do we get the idea? His teleport's already back. Good portal from the Priestess. And, yep, teach that boy some respect. Cypher is at 70, 80 now. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. I said that actually landed, and then he got stunned again. Whoa. Now the embalmer could embalm himself, or he can just self-heal. Yeah, he just self-heals, and then that's it. Wait, actually, they might lose. They actually might lose. I think they actually might lose this. They they could on they, like this is actually plausible for him to lose. Like, see, Hermit is not a bad hunter by any means. Like, I'm not. I don't hate him because he's bad. I hate him because he's fucking annoying. Because, like, the fact that they could actually, like, theoretically lose this with two ciphers above 70 is crazy. But it also just shows, like, a good hermit is a good hermit. Like, you gotta respect that. But they are decoding it. Huh. ID3, dude, the slow ciphers kill me. Falling asleep here. Oh, my God. Dog, my brother just looked at me like he just woke up, and I'm just like, I'm, I fucking woke his ass up. Oh, uh, sorry, bro. Gotta get that grind in. Well, they popped the cypher, though. And because it's Hermit, they can still share detention damage. Yeah. See, they, sh they share it. They share it. Instead of, a, uh, they took 0.6 from that one. Instead of 1.2. Yep, they hit with another red. Is he gonna orb? He is gonna orb. And Embalmer is actually just gonna say swap, which is smart. He connected gates, right? Yeah. The chair teleport is up. The Embalmer can just stay there. Teleport up and the Embalmer can just stay there. So, it's like, it doesn't matter that the Embalmer's there. Because the Embalmer has coffin. So he can just stay there and be aggressive as fuck with it. And both gates are open, and that's looking like a three-man. Yeah, teleport to the other gate right now. Teleport to the other gate right now, even though you know that's going to give the Embalmer a free rescue. <laughs> yep, and now UTP. And, oh, wait. Wait, draw city? Wait, draw city. They lost. No way. No. No fucking way. <laughs> and he stuns. And he's not, it's a draw. It's a draw. He can't do shit about that, buddy. Tried it. Tried it. He was so close. He tried it. Mm. You, what you had to do right there if you were the hermit, what I would have done maybe is, is I would have just like took the mercenary out of the gate and like dropped him into a fucking corner or something. Or I would have chaired him like closer to where I thought the priest would go. Like I know chairing near the gate is smart and all, but it's also like it's a priestess at the end of the day. You got to cut distance. Oh, no. In hindsight, huh. there wasn't much that he could do. Like, there really wasn't. Well, that's Hermit for you. Boring as hell. Not gonna lie to you, Chief. Totally engaged. I mean, I mean, not boring, not boring. What am I saying? What am I saying? Engaging gameplay. Engaging. Very engaging. Very Fire Emblem engaging. 
Um, yeah. So with that being said, we're gonna hop right into the second half. All right, we got the second half of round one right here. We see our standard opera singer with Mage, Merc, and Bomber, and Lucky Guy, my boy, Lucky God. Yeah. With the opera singer Manning Seer, Anti Chord, and Gardener. Yeah, that was Gardener. I'm not blind. Yeah, it was Gardener. All right. You're going to see she's going to be immediately heading over towards first stop, which is where the lucky guy is. And lucky guy went up the stairs just to drop down. I guess he wanted to try and push coaster, but it's opera, so you can't do that. And she just shadows, and she shadows, and she shadows, and now you perfume. Oh, but she bait perfume, and now you get hit here. Yeah. And now you take coaster, and then she just catches up to you because I am speed. I am speed. Ooh, coaster's been pressed as well. Coaster's taken all the way to third stop. Very nice, very nice, Pushkin. Very nice. All right. She's slowing down a little bit, but the uh, lucky guy's all the way now at first stop. But the ciphers are a little bit slow. Like, I, actually, they are, like, very slow, all things considered. Like, there's, they don't even have, a, like, a third cipher s started slash set up, and it's, like, it's kind of sad. But Blink is up, though, so at least the lucky guy is, like, doing a good kite. He teleports back, and now you just die? Huh. Okay, so I see why he didn't choose to drop. He chose he he chose not to drop because he just wanted to make sure he died as far away from the closest possible cipher. That way, then they can decode undisturbed. Because had he dropped down, he would have been prompted to get chaired like closer towards uh the two pallets over at the T wall over there, the, where the opera singer was like looking at for a second, right to her right. So I can understand that. I that that was that was that's just good. That's good planning, making sure you don't die on the ciphers. And now at this point we should see the same strategy we always see against opera in which she just goes and farms farm die in a corner call it a day no item swap play for this lucky guy either merc did not have the time to like maybe give him elbow pads or something but we are seeing that yep the lucky guy is just gonna choose to die in a corner now with the cypher pop major cypher pop and he is embalmed at that so now the question is will they embalm on the floor or will they embalm on chair well if they don't get that option now that's tough he's gonna be embalmed on the chair but the embalmer already moving that coffin which a lot of people don't know that you can do actually when somebody's on balloons if they're embalmed you can actually take the coffin and move it so that way then the survivor doesn't get fucked if the hunter decides to get close enough and we are gonna see she did swap to teleport didn't even use the blink there but it's all in vain because the cypher at two story did end up getting popped right before her teleport actually procs so she ended up tp'ing over towards third stop instead of the two story and you almost got terror shocked because you were slow vaulting oh wow holy shit you should be dead ho oh, buddy ho oh, buckaroo ho oh, buddy old pal and now we're just mind gaming pallets here but the cyphers are still like behind i can't lie the cyphers are still like actually very behind like 70 30 and 16 against an opera that's not what you would want that that really isn't and if yg wants to win this round they are going to need a three-man elimination whereas if they're going to tie the round meta just needs to go for a draw which is you know like it should be in theory plausible they have an extra cypher started up just in case they have a site they have three cyphers done and they have the other three at like the 20-ish mark so like it can be done. I just wish that their ciphers were a little better. But that's just me, though. Alright, Mage doing his Magey thing. Yup, yup, Illusion. Now you gotta kite away from the ciphers, buddy. Yeah, break the pallet. Uh, loop is a pallet, okay. Wandy? Whoa, he's lagging. A little bit of lag there. Saw so is looking at the Mage. And YG is confused. Mr. Yui is uh, lost. Okay, Yui heading over towards 4th stop now, MCA is now taking the kite over, Mercenary versus Opera Singer, a tale as old as time. Who will be the victor? Probably the Opera Singer because yeah, drop down, you should have dropped down buddy. Oh, you got so lucky. Oh, he makes that, he makes that pallet, he makes the pallet. I stand fucking corrected. I stand absolutely fucking corrected. 
That's a pallet stun? What? That's a... Okay. Oh, you don't make that vault. You don't make that vault, buddy. Okay, I'm just trash. I'm just trash. I just suck at the game. Clearly, I don't know anything. I, I'm just bad at the game. Because two times I made a missed call. There's no way in any universe that you should have, like, made that vault. Like, she should have at least got an overhit with how slow you were and how fast she was in comparison. Like, it's insane. Alright. Disrespects the pallet. Walks through. Yep, she doesn't care about these pallets and you're clipped. Yep, you're dead. But, they only need one more cypher, and it is at 60, which means draw is possible. And teleport is still on cooldown, which means if she wants to pressure, she gotta travel all the way across the map, and by then, the Merc could just pop the cypher. May just standing around in his hideout, he's hiding, he has one wand to work with to maybe make this chair now that the opera cut him off, which is kinda making this shit hard, wand. Oh, but you still got hit. Oh, buddy. Oh, oh, there, that's it. That's the match. Well, they lost. That's it. The round goes to YG. You can't decode that shit any faster. <coughs> Cypher is primed and everything. That's really unfortunate, man. Getting hit from through that wand right there really kind of messed up everything. Because uh, of using that wand to transition forward while avoiding the hit would have change the game and then he would take speed boost oh, I got closer to the chair then he gets hit then he gets closer to the chair again and then he can maybe get the rescue because it's still an opera singer but now it's like that's it they just they just lose and Merc has no more pads and even if Merc eats this hit here opera just TPs oh she still has a pad never mind I'm blind but Merc is also just gonna go down buddy just go for the mage Wow, that's a four-man four Yui right there. Good Fordman. Well, lucky four-man, more accurately. No, just break the pallet. Just break it. Just break it. Thank you. Just break the fucking pallet. Wow, disrespected the absolute shit out of your pallet. Well, Meta, uh, Meta is being asked if they ever met a woman before because clearly Meta ain't metaing. That's insane, dude. The meta has been used, and the meta has shown which meta is stronger. Oh, how many times did I say meta in that one goddamn sentence? I don't know, so we're just going to completely ignore it. But that's the four-man for YG, which means YG is going to be taking this first round. So GG's to YG, and with that being said, you're, you're the, the shaking is funny. I'm crying. But with that being said, we're going to hop right into round two. All right, we got round two over here again. Chinatown wax artist, woo la di da. We see anti dancer, mercenary, and thief creature. Thief, yo, thief is about a cook, bruh. No way, we're about to see hardcore thief support. Now that's something, dude. This is about to be legit. Okay, we are seeing that metal is heading over towards middle right now. Is he gonna be on the creature? No, he's not gonna be on the thief. He's gonna be on the Merc again, dude. What is with these hunters just chasing after their Mercs first? They sure as hell love Mercenary. Wee. Mercenary, wee, wee, wee. And we are gonna see now. Slow boxes are set up in hotel already. We love to see it. Slow boxes already set up. This is beautiful. Beautiful. He's gotta break them boxes. Yeah, he gotta break them boxes. Oh yeah. And he breaks box number two, and the anti stays at the top stairs because she doesn't know what the hunter is doing, so she doesn't want to end up running into him. That's why patience is key when you play survivor. So yeah, make sure that if you lose a sight of the hunter, just stand. It's some. It's okay to just stand and wait to see if you have vision on the hunter. There are two flashlights just set up there. Were those set up there in case of teleport? I I wonder. Those hats have been set up there in case of teleport. So my other question is, why didn't he break them? You petted what? And wow, he disrespected your pallet, Atomic. Atomic, you got atomically disrespected. That is funny. Okay, anti-support, anti-support. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hit him with the stick. Hit him with the stick. Hit him with the stick. Yeah, push back. Yeah, slap him once. And Atomic might still be atomically fucked. I'm not gonna lie. The wax is still not going down. Can the wax start going down? Okay, it's going down. Nancy is eating up the wax for her. 
which is good because now this is at least buy some time their ciphers aren't the worst ever the pallet is blocked off and she's dead and anti cannot risk going in for harassment because if she does she will end up giving a hit and because this wax artist has influenced attention we're gonna we don't want to have him at full presence um okay so with meta specifically because it's a new round they can maybe just want to set up their hunter to take the round again so maybe they want to set up their hunter to 3k in the second half so if i was meta i would maybe be considering just either rescuing after half or just do one rescue and then sell on second chair simply because you don't really need to push so hard for a three man when you're going by rounds and you can just kind of afford to stay you know passive and get a draw hold on thief support yo 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 oh oh he flashed him flashed him and he can't use his wax either oh no way the thief support yo it helped the damn thing it helped the dancer he has to swap targets now oh wow he needs to swap targets now holy shit that's actually huge wait that's actually fucking huge this guy this guy's better than me he, he's just him he's just him he he has to swap targets now oh jesus christ wait dancer you might want to like maybe open a chest first you don't have an item oh that sucks wait he messed up the trick oh oh anti you're fucked oh anti you're fucked oh sweet anti you're fucked yeah you you can't do much about that but now he just oh but they're all injured now like the thief support was good but i think he overextended just a bit i think after the first flashlight and he kept backing out that's when he needed to just fuck off because now he can just teleport we are seeing that the dancer actually preemptively got off her cypher to prevent that teleport because you know if she gets chased now it doesn't matter if they get a free rescue all the th everything that the thief did would have been for nothing so that's good good discipline on the dancer making sure to watch out oh back on the cypher and it's looking like a teleport yep teleports over but they have every cypher at above 50 pretty much above 60 anyway whoa what oh this is where not having broken windows kind of hurt uh not having flywheel kind of hurts with wax artists though but um that was an interaction like that that was an interaction i can't lie i can't deny it that was something that could happen um that was not the interaction i was expecting with a uh, disrespecting the pallet then letting the survivor walk back through the pallet that you disrespected while not swinging that was not something i expected to see today especially in a japanese competitive tournament huh. They are just choosing to sell right now, so it looks like they are actually following suit. They know that she can't rebound, and they know that there's no need to push for a rescue when you can just go for a draw and set your hunter up. So that way, then he only needs a three man. Especially on Chinatown, which is a pretty good, which is a pretty great map for hunters. You can play Nyad if they want to play. They can play Hermit again. They can play Wax Artist if they don't ban Opera. You can play Opera. Fucking hell, you can be like Jam and play Wheel. Like you have a lot of options on this map. So it's like they they understand that it just sucks that their next kite is not going to be long because it's a fucking wax artist and this is why i hate this goddamn hunter hate 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 let's not look at this well at least their ciphers are far enough though which is good but the cipher is going to get cummed on no he put his sticky stuff on the cipher that's not fire that isn't fair at all Oh no, bing bong. And he got his elbow pad canceled out via fucking wax. Buckaroo. He hit the chair! Dog, what is this log? Orange Jesus is on their side right now. You better save that stick for one whack. Oh damn, you better, you better whack him into next year. That touched. That was Geisha levels of fucking hit. I'm not gonna lie. Cause holy shit, that really touched. Well, as cool as the D support was, they lose this. Damn. This is looking like it's gonna be another two round, like chopping block then, cause Jesus Christ.
Like, it's just been one-sided domination. YG's just doing their thing on the Hunter, and meta serves are kind of just, uh... They're not being very meta. You're not following the meta. Considering also they banned Dreamwitch earlier instead of Opera Singa, I don't... I don't know. Fucking Christ, Devil got that shit stuck in my head, man. Ooh, brother Guru. Okay. And, yep, that's it. Now you teleport to the Dancer. Just teleport. You already saw that Cypher being worked on, so you know someone is there. Yep, you TP'd. And now we look for tracks, and that's it. And, woo, la -dee da Now you're on the Thief, and the Thief just gets to eat shit. <laughs> the Thief is chasing him around with the flashlight. That's so goofy. And welcome to death. And that's a four-man. GG's. That is a four-man right there on the... Bro, just chair him into Merc. Just chair him into Merc. You know damn well that Merc is not getting up. Just chair him, buddy. Okay, well, now you're hesitating. Now you have to go and chair the Merc first, which gives the Thief time. Yeah, the Thief is already at 73. This is why I said just go and chair the Thief first. Like, it's a mercenary. Like, what is he gonna do? Like, like, it's a Merc, bro. Like, he's not gonna get up in time. Like, you spent 40... You, you spent, like, 40 seconds doing whatever bullshit you're doing. He might struggle. And by might, he will. What am I watching? What in the actual fuck am I watching right now, chat? What, what the fuck am I watching? Zeuslitz, what am I watching? He got pallet stunned, yep. Yeah. I don't know why that was such a delayed reaction on me for he got pallet stunned, but it was. <coughs> Holy shit, just go to the thief, bro. Metal, just go to the thief. He's dragging this match out so much when it doesn't need to be done, bro. All he had to do was chair the thief and go back for the merc and that's it. Like, that's all he had to do. Like, he, oh, over complicating things, bro. What are you doing? Oh, my God. He really wants this form, man. He really wants this form. Dog, I'm not about to sit here and watch you just farm off a mercenary from balloons. When you could have just ended this by chairing the thief. And then going back for the mercenary who was not going to have enough time to self-heal. Was Jesus H Christ. Like now you have no clue where the thief is. You know, Jesus, you know he's heading to a dungeon location. Just teleport to the closest one and then check the surrounding area, please. The thief better pick himself up right now. Okay, can you chair him? Please, chair him. Please, he's not that on chair. Just chair him. For the love of Christ, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why, Metal? Why? Oh. <laughs> Why? Why, Metal? Why? Why must you do this to me at 6 in the morning? Why? Why must you do this? It is 6 in the morning, and I need to watch you do this fucking bullshit. Can you just chair him? Go to the Merc. You know where he... Dog, not gonna get the one, man. They aren't. Just chair him. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. Oh, my God. Dog, he's cooked. He's cooked. There's just no helping him. Metal might actually be the new Yawn, bro. Because this is some shit that Yawn would do, bro. Like, I'm watching Yawn right now. I'm watching Dow 5 versus Wolves right now. Like, it's crazy. I'm watching Dow 5 versus Wolves. Can you just share the Merc? Be normal and share the fucking Merc. Or I'm going to smack you. Okay. 
Thank you, Yawn. I mean metal. I mean Yawn. I mean metal. Thank you, metal. I mean Yawn. I mean metal. Thank you for being fucking normal. You could have ended this match four and a half minutes ago. Instead, we're doing this shit. They surrendered. That is a four man for the YG sir. I mean for the YG hunter. All right. Second half of round two, and we're seeing Joker versus a psych cord lawyer and Merc. So, okay, so hope, buddy. Um, I know clown has to be your specialty, you know, but like, you need a four man. And um, clown is kind of shit. I know this is like his best. This is like his best map, but like clown is still kind of shit. I know a good clown is scary. But, uh, clown is kinda shit. And if, uh, the serves do it well, well then, uh, you're not gonna get your four-man that you so desperately need. Because they need to get a one-man and they win. You need a four-man. Or you lose. And you're already lost. None of them are decoding. Which is actually kinda funny, though. Like, that that's actually kinda funny. Not, not a single one of them are decoding. None of them are decoding. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. They want to wait until somebody has chased to decode. Dude, this wastes so much time. And not on the hunter side. This wastes time on the survivor's end. Because now that means that first chase is going to be the shortest chase imaginable. They're going to get hit by rocket. And they're going to get blinked right after. Oh my god. This nigga's control. Holy shit. Welp. And now you just get blinked hit. Like, that's it. He has insult proc ready. Insulin's prox in two, one. I mean, his cooldown is already going to be up anyway. But now they're decoding. Like, look at this shit. Now she gets hit, and then he just waits out stress, and he blinks. Oh. Well, ain't that a bitch. Oh, okay. Well, he blinks anyway. He, gets, he just attaches a part and gets a dash back. Yep, you just attach part, make speed, give infinite boost, and that's it. Oh, he put a modified. I think he put a modified at least... Ooh, good control. Good control. Oh, that sucks, buddy. That's rough. But it's like, it's literally like the game starts, it started now and not like two minutes ago. And even then, all that, like the kite was still short. Like that kite was carried by the fact that she's a psychologist. Could you imagine if that was the lawyer or the coordinator? Cord would have shot gun probably, which would have bought her about the equivalent of the psych. But if that was lawyer, you're fucked. So you're very... Like, I, I, I can, like, because, again, that, that's mainly why they weren't decoding. Like, I'm not saying, like, what they, and there, there is a reason why they weren't decoding. It was because they wanted to make sure that the lawyer was rotating and didn't get kite. So that way they can have somebody kite with safely so the lawyer can cypher rush and decode as momentum in the game already swung. <coughs> that's not a double hit. That's insane. That's robbery. That's actual robbery. That's, like, actually insane robbery. I can't lie. Like, that should have been a double down on his own. Wow. That's insane levels of fucking robbery. First two ciphers pop. Psych goes down. They might just sell because they only need a one man. But then again, they don't have the final two ciphers. And here, he can just attach a part and start speeding across the map like a motherfucker. Just start attaching shit left and right. He put a switch on his rocket, bro. He put a switch on his rocket. So the question is now, will he get shot? Will he get shot? Can you just hit the bitch? Okay, never mind. He's not going to hit her. Well, at least gun is wasted. <laughs> he thought he was an ant. And, and uh, went around. Wow, good control. Good control, dude. That was actually beautiful. He done. They only need one more cipher. They're at 50, 60, and then five percent. <laughs> but uh, this doesn't do anything because uh, Hope still needs to get uh his one man. I mean his four man. So unless this boy finds a way to start terror shocking people through the dash or something else, uh, he's kind of cooked. He is a uh, kind of cooked. Cannot lie. Alright, who's he chasing? He's on a mercenary. 
Good control. Wow, beautiful control. Sucks sucks that you didn't land that, though, but still good control nonetheless. Now, do you want to TP or no? You are not choosing to TP, actually. Funny enough. You're not choosing to swap to teleport. You're just going to keep dashing across the map, collecting your part. Oh, buddy, you fucked up your dash. Oh, shit. Well, they only need one more cipher, so this is looking like it's gonna be a one man. And this is looking like it's gonna be a one man. Like I, I, unless there's like major fuck ups, I can't see how this isn't a one man. Good mind game, very good mind game from Hope right there. Very good mind game, bro. Probably just listened to the audio cue, heard the vault, and was like, "All right, yeah, you're vaulting, buddy. That's it. You're f done. That's it. You're finished. You're done, kid." Oh, very much. Well done. Okay. Chasing after the Merc now. Nobody's decoding. They are healing. This could be exactly what Clown needs. All right, now you slug. Now you slug. Don't give two fucks about him. You hit him with a modded drug, and that boy is going to be at minus 100% heal speed. Especially as a mercenary with, like, the amount of hits he took. He's, like, at 2-3 shell shock. So that's minus 145% of your healing speed. He's not going to get up for the next fucking year. Dog, holy shit. He might actually form in. I think he might actually form in. Ooh. 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 Dude, the control. Oh my god, the control. The control is insane, bro. Merc still not up, and he gets blinked. Now you chair the coordinator. Oh my god, he's gonna form in. Chat, he's gonna get, he's gonna form in. He's gonna four man as clown, bro. He's gonna be the hope. He is the hope of the universe, bro. He is the hope. He's actually gonna four man. Lawyer doing that cipher. Unless, unless they just pop it. Wait, he doesn't know. No, he does know. He's just going around to make sure. No, he doesn't know. Oh my god, lawyer can just pop the cipher. Oh my god, he can just pop. And that's it. And Merc can just go to open the gate or some shit. Just pop it. Pop it. Why would you wait until... Just pop it mid-dash. Like, what is he gonna do? Fuck up his dash and then hit you with a basic hit? Yeah, well, that's rip. That's rip, bro. He, he didn't see the cypher. He saw the cypher too late. Like, that's it. That's a one-man. R.I.P., man. Oh, wait, no, this is going to be a fucking three-man endgame now because no detention and she can, he can rescue. Damn, that's tough, buddy. RIP meta. GG's to YG, though. But uh, RIP meta, Merc, just leave and take your one man and then the rest of them, they can do whatever. Merc is not leaving. <laughs> that's it, buddy. You lost. RIP, bro. RIP. You were the hope of the universe. Wow, that doesn't land. That that dash doesn't connect. That's crazy. Huh. <laughs> that hitbox. Well, well, Bucky. Well, Hope. You were almost the hope of the universe. Good. Wow, holy shit. Amazing control. Not even good control. Well, GG's. Yep. Uh, he got a draw with Clown, but YG is going to be the winner. That is it. YG wins that shit for free. GG's to meta, they played it well enough, I guess, on the Hunter's end. I'm not going to lie to you guys, the Survivors kind of ate shit. But uh, the Hunters, they played decently well. They played decently well. Just a uh, ghost to show, you know? Um, Anyone can play, right? I guess. Yeah, they didn't do the worst ever. Alright, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you all did enjoy it. Um, I did not enjoy watching a Hermit match because, you know, well, it, it, the Hermit match wasn't too bad, but it's just, you know, you you guys know me. I, uh, I hate Hermit with a passion. I wish he could be removed. Um, uh, I don't know who just spoke, but that sure as hell wasn't me. But, uh, yeah, so, like, it, the, the matches were at least nice, but Hermit, man, like, out of every option you have, you know, there's, like, 30 million hunters, and you pick Hermit, like, man, I'll, I'll never not be a Hermit hater. That, that's just me, though. I'll never not be a Hermit hater. But, 
Oh, that bullshit Riyazad, because we all know how I feel about Hermit. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. If you made it this far into the video, give a like and share the video. Or if you don't want to subscribe just yet, if you're trying to scout to see if I'm even worth subscribing to. But you should, because we're trying to hit 5k before the end of June. Or just before June in general. We're trying to hit 5k subs before June. So if you want to join us for a part of that journey, you can be there. If you don't want to be there, then you don't have to be there. But we're hitting 5k subs. We're trying to hit 5k. I'm manifesting that shit. We're going to hit 5k by June. Calling it, saying it now. That's the goals. So thank you all for watching. I'm Zeus and I'm out. Peace out, everyone. Love you all.